All right, so what are we doing here today? What's what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? Um, listen, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do in the next couple of weeks. Three weeks, maybe, I guess. And the a lot to do in question is I have to make three Luna cardigans. Do you see three different color schemes going on here? That's three different Luna cardigans. What's a Luna cardigan, you might ask? Well, why don't you look right here on my body? This is not the original Luna cardigan I made. This is my most recent, no, yeah, my most recent one I made for myself. It's longer and it's gorgeous and it's nice and has little motifs on it. It's gorgeous, right? Right. Well, that's why I'm making three because I am doing three art trades. Three art trades. Exciting. You wanna know what we're, what we're trading for? Listen, bring back the bartering system. Bring it back. I love this shit. I love trading art for more art. It's so gorgeous. It's so lovely. I, I'm so lucky I'm able to do this. Literally, so grateful. So yeah, uh, oh, do you not know who I am? Hey, if you're if you're new here, my name's Jada, aka Mrs. Moon Heaven. I'm a crochet designer, and you know, I, on this channel, I make content about that. I also sell patterns. Speaking of Luna Cardigan, do you wanna? Oh, did it get quieter in here? I'm yelling. The heat went off. Speaking of patterns, if you wanna make a Luna Cardigan along with me, pattern, it linked in the description. Look at my other patterns on there. Really cool stuff. This is a nice beginner friendly pattern. It's graded, but also there's instructions on how to customize it. And also, you know, I'm gonna put the templates that I'm using for each one on the screen in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing if you wanna design the same one. But if not, if not, the pattern comes with templates so that you can design your own. Also, I'm gonna put in the description a coupon code for 40% off for the first 100 people who use the coupon code. So if you wanna do it, use that. And then for everybody else, I'm just gonna put a 20% off coupon code there if the 40% off doesn't work because I'm sorry, 100 people beat you to it. Okay. Anyway, enough about me. Oh yeah, follow my socials at Mrs. Moon Heaven. Check out my Patreon if you want to support me at Mrs. Moon Heaven as well. And there's a bonus video on there right now about the first Luna cardigan I made for a art trade commission for a tattoo. So, you know, if you're interested in that, check that out. But without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so I have three, 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 three Luna cardigan designs going on. Now, what's really cool about this is that each one I feel like matches the aesthetic of the person. Oh wait, I didn't even tell you what I'm doing the trade for. I'm trading for three tattoos. Isn't that awesome? So this one, I showed it in, in my last video um, that I did an art trade for this tattoo right here. And I'll show you some clips from that one. I've been doing this like on and off the past few days, just like here and there. I have two completely done. Check it out. This is what the panels look like when they're all sewn together. This is what it looks like on. Uh. It looks so good. It matches your hair so good. I love it. Like I said, video is on Patreon if you want to see the whole thing. That was such a gorgeous experience. That was my first ever like big art trade like that. My life changed when one of my friends, um, Alex, aka Alexandria Massey, she told me that most of her tattoos were from art trades that she would sell for like crocheted pieces. And I was like, that is so cool. And that is so gorgeous that you're able to trade art for other art. You're able to trade goods for more goods. Also, it like feels free, even though it's not on both ends. But like I talked to a tattoo artist about it actually two who both were also like feels free even though like it's obviously like a lot of time i pay for the yarn they pay for their supplies we both spend a lot of time doing the art also not to mention all the amount of hours it took to get to where we are so obviously it's not free but it feels free because we're not paying money for it we're trading skills and talents and goods Ugh, can't get over how amazing that is Anyway, so I have three different designs. What's really cool about this is that like these all match the aesthetic of each one of the tattoo artists, either like literally like the pink ones you'll see literally or just like the vibe of the other ones. It's so cool. So I'm going to put each of the design templates that I'm using up on screen. Uh, also, if you want to crochet along, I have the numbers on each one of the each one of these templates. The numbers are corresponding to Hobby Amigo Chunky yarn, which is what I'm using, except for this, unfortunately for the pink that I needed, which is crazy because I just made this one with all that pink. For this one, they didn't have 
Amigo Chunky, so I got, for every skein I needed, I got two Amigo XL, so I'm just gonna have to double up, which is a little annoying, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. If you do wanna make the same ones, please, 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 you don't have to, but please use my commission links, which will be in the description below. You know, since I do use their yarn literally so much, and I talk about them, it would be nice if I could get some of that back in commission, so if you're able to, if you wanted to follow along, there's a commission link below. First off, we're starting with this pink one. This is for one of my fave tattoo artists that I have the most tattoos from, that I keep going back for, Pink Princess, aka Marissa. Pink Princess, obviously, look at this. Can you see, I don't even think you can see the red in this framing, but there's like also a dark red in there. And her thing is like pink and red, cute tattoos. I have four tattoos from her right now. I have this moth one that I got recently. I don't know if you can see like up close. Maybe I'll actually, I guess I'll just go up to the camera. I guess I'm just being lazy. All right, so I have this moth. Last time I showed it to you, it was not healed. Now it's healed. It flies. It flies. I basically told her, I was like, listen, I want a moth. I really like Atlas moths. If you could just make it like your design, nice and cute. Like you could see there's like hearts in it and stuff. And if you could make it like fly, gorgeous. That was my first tattoo from her. This was my first tattoo, it's from her flash sheet. It was a Powerpuff Girls tattoo. Love the Powerpuff Girls. Ever since I was a kid, love, love, love Powerpuff Girls. Then I got this tattoo, which is so cool. This is like my only crochet or fiber art related tattoo. And you're like, what, how is this related? This is so cool, it's a ruler. The center of each thing is a half inch. All the stars and hearts are an inch and then all the sparkles are half an inch. So when I lie it out like this, this is when it's to scale. So if I'm ever on the go and need a ruler to measure out a gauge, four inches, pretty sick, right? It also, isn't it crazy that it takes up like half my arm? It like doesn't seem to make sense. I was like, that's how big it is. For a second, I thought we messed up. I was like, that's how big it is? Good thing I got this tattooed on me because I, I have no idea how, how, how big four inches is, I guess. And then I got this last year, last January actually, also part of a flash. It was Friday the 13th flash. I love this one. I was like, need, 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 need. I went to my last tattoo. I got the moth and the ruler at the same time. I went wearing this cause I like wearing my Luna Cardigans to get tattooed because it works as like a blanket and a pillow and it's easy to take it on and off. And she was like, ah, oh, I love that. And then I told her about how I'm making one for art trade. And she was like, I would love to do an art trade. And I was like, Thank fucking God. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Because I go, I have so many tattoos planned with her. I'm planning on doing like a pink and red sleeve on this arm. So I was like, yeah, I'm fucking down. So she picked out the colors. I had, I had them all pick out the colors, by the way, and then I just designed it. So this is what hers looks like. And what I'm trading for is I've been wanting, since I got the strawberry tattoo, I was like, well, how cool would it be if we did raspberry branches? And she was like, wow, I've never done that before. And since then, I've seen that she's done a few raspberry tattoos, including one that was like freehanded. And I was like, well, 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 I would like a freehanded one. So I want one that goes around my arm, around the back and goes over my shoulder. Ugh. So the way that it works is because it's freehanded, she can't really like tell me exactly how much it's gonna cost. So if let's say like the time is like less than the value of the cardigan, then we'll just add on a few more small tattoos. Once again, perfect, because I have literally so many ideas. So that's in two weeks, two Tuesdays from now. It's Wednesday right now. It's Wednesday the 10th. It's Wednesday the 10th, and my tattoo appointment is on the 22nd, whatever the Tuesday is. The only problem I have right now is I do have like a spot of eczema that is right there on like both my back and my arm. So I'm gonna see what it looks like next week. And if I have to, I'll postpone it. And I obviously really don't want to because I want it right away. Like I feel like it will really complete my arm right now. Like I feel like there's a lot of tattoos, but like there's such a chunk missing over here that it's really gonna complete my arm in a way. That doesn't make it feel bare for now that I could like feel good about the rest of my arm not being filled. Do you, does that make sense? And also I'm going away twice in February and I would really like those tattoos to be there. And also it's like perfect time that like I'm going to Florida. I'm going to Florida and it'll be two weeks from when I got it so that it could be like healed. You know what I'm saying? But I really want it. I really want it for when I'm away, especially in Florida. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to tell her if it's not fully healed. It sucks because I got this like pretty recently. So just the winter is when I get eczema the most because it's just so dry. My skin can't take it. But I'm really excited for it. I'm so excited to have like a, like something that like really shapes the sleeve. And it's also like Marissa was saying that it's just like a perfect spot to really just like finish off a sleeve, like to start and finish a sleeve, like that shoulder piece. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for them all. Okay, next piece up is the one that I'm starting right now because it's the soonest. The tattoo artist's name is Emma Blue. So here's their Instagram. I actually also have tattoos from them. I have one, two, I have three tattoos from them. So I have this Lily of the Valley tattoo that she did. And then I have 
this flame on the back of my, I, I don't know if you could see it. I have a flame on the back of my ankle. And then I also have a Sailor Moon Mercury symbol on my arm right here. So yeah, so I have two small ones, one big one from her. And I was on her page and I was like, oh my god, her things are so cool. She does really cool pieces where like she really designs vases and really cool plant. She has a, a lot of really cool things. So I messaged her about it and obviously she was like real down. She was like, yeah, doing tattoo trades is one of my favorite part parts of having this job. So what I'm getting from her is I saw this I saw this post by her where she had like this cascading plant and I really want a pothos, like a hanging pothos coming out of a very decorative vase, like the ones that she's designed. And I want it to be cascading down here, like probably like five inches or so, like down. And I'm gonna make her a longer Luna cardigan. I think, are all these long? No, I think Marissa's is like the standard length. And Emma's is going to be longer, it's the same length as this one. Emma wanted like a neutrals one. So like mostly like black gray and like a bluish gray, which I think is cool because I've never done one with that these colors before and I love just like the t the comparison between like the bright pink one that I'm wearing and also the one that I'm making for Marissa and this one for Emma and and her name is Emma blue so I do like that it's like a bluish toned one I'm excited for this one I like the hearts in here I think it's gonna look very like moody and cool but at first when I made it I was like oh there's not a lot of color but like after I made the design I was like this is cool Emma even said that, like, if this is too boring, let me know. But I, I like it because I wouldn't ever, not that I wouldn't ever, but I don't think I would design this on my own. So I like it. I think it's going to look real cool when it's done. And last but not least, we have Kate Dietz. And I got her on my explore page because she, let me show you, I'm going to show you the reel. The reel is going to be right here. I'm going to show you the reel that caught my interest. She does these gorgeous, like, cat portraits. They're Gorgeous and the one that really caught my eye was the one of them in the window. So I want a window tattoo I've been wanting a window tattoo. So I'm gonna get a window tattoo with like plants and stuff on it I think right here right here of a Noki and Kiwi and I'm gonna use a photo when Kiwi was like nice and small too Cause I have photos of them at the window. I'm really excited for that. She uh, just gorgeous And so she picked a color palette. This is obviously the color palette, which I actually I was going to do a Luna cardigan with a very similar color palette for myself and I just like never got around to doing it. So I'm really excited to do this one. I love like an orange and blue color palette. I think it's so fun. Like a nice 70s color palette. So hers is going to be extra long. Um, I never did one this long before, but I'm also going to make the sizing a little bit smaller to kind of make up for that. I mean, you can see like this is a very comfy one, but it does like swallow me up a lot. But it's cool because like this literally has fit on all of my friends of like vastly different sizes it's like the sisterhood of the traveling cardigan which i just love if you yeah i'm gonna put this reel up on the screen if you've never seen it before with me and my friends all trying it on i love how it looks on every single one of us it's awesome so yeah so she wants a smaller size for it so i think i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my medium sizing for this one which i made one medium before i made a pokemon one that was a medium and it still fits oversized like all these are meant to fit like very oversized and the way that the sizing works is that each one fits about like two sizes above what it actually is. So if it's a medium, it actually is like a true extra large. But you know, if it's an oversized cardigan, I think that it should be oversized for every size. Plus customization if you wanted it to fit like as oversized as mine fits on me. On anybody. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, the point is that I'm going to make this. And this is the most involved one too. So... Making it smaller makes up for some time so that I can make it longer because um, it's less stitches sideways back to back if that makes sense But then I'm also gonna put a bunch of these motifs on it and I just I just think it's gonna look freaking amazing Like it's gonna look so cool and that's not until February 9th so I have some time for that now the thing here is the thing here is is that that's in Florida She's in St. Augustine, Florida and I'm always in Florida anyway, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll make a trip out of it. I'll make a trip out of it, and I'll just go a week in Florida. I have a lot of friends in Orlando, so this is going to be a trip where I'm actually going to like meet up with a lot of my friends because I feel like every time I'm in Orlando, there's so many people I have to catch up with because I, okay, I don't know if you know this. Here's me outing myself again. There is a video on my channel. I'm a closeted Disney adult, and I did the Disney college program back in 2017. So I do have a lot of friends who live in Florida, plus one friend that I actually just went to college with who happens to live in Florida. So I have to like see all of them. You know what I'm saying? And usually, like, the last time I went, I was on a family vacation. So I really didn't have time to see everybody over there. Plus I was staying with Brooke. Brooke now does not live in Florida. So I will not be seeing Brooke anymore. I will be seeing Aiden. Aiden Wells Crochet. You guys follow Aiden Wells Crochet. Literally talk to Aiden every single day of my life. But I'm going to see them. We're going to go to our Universal together. <laughs> and my friend Avalon. She's also been on the channel. The thing about this one though. Is that I'm going to have to ship it to her. 
because there's no way I'm gonna pack it. I don't know if I'm gonna be brave this time around and just do a carry-on. It's really hard for me. I I literally stayed over Emma's, my Emma, my Emma, not Emma Blue. Emma, made in the moment, Emma. I stayed over where they were staying in, while well, they were staying in New York. I stayed over for a night and packed the carry-on. Which to be fair, it was filled with like big yarn. Like I packed like four or five big bungee yarns. So I, like I didn't need to pack a big carry-on, but still. The point is that is I pack a carry-on for one day. So I don't know how I would do it for a week. It's easier when the weather's warm because like, you know, your clothes are smaller. I don't know. We'll see what I do about it. But anyway, the point is, the point is that I am going to ship over the cardigan in advance. Anyway, let's, let me get started on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's my first square for Emma's that I've started already. Anyway, I feel like crocheting a lot today, so let's see how far we get with, with my making. I'm gonna put all this away now, because I've been wanting to lie this all out flat. I've had like the bags of my packages right by the door, so now I gotta actually put them away. Look at all my yarn! Whenever I cut off an, an old square, I leave like a long tail for sewing later just to make it easier on ends. And then I go over the new yarn's tail so I don't have to weave in as many ends. It's a little trick. So this is what I have done. I got one panel done. Ta da! One panel is completely done, and then I started. I started this one. So last time I like roughly timed how long it took me to make a lunar cardigan because I haven't timed it in so long. And the first time I ever made one, I think it took me about like 16 hours, and then it took like shorter and shorter. It depends, but the absolute minimum time it takes me to make a standard size one with just two colors so i don't have to constantly cross reference no motifs uh no checkers took me about nine hours which is crazy i've gotten so much faster throughout the years but with motifs motifs add so much time for me because i don't like sewing and so it takes a long time but like you know so i have some motifs in this one also have some checkers and obviously it's a lot longer and a lot more color so i have to like constantly cross reference back saves a lot of time where you literally don't have to cross reference you just have to go back and forth but it's good that to know that like the minimum it takes is eight hours so i'm like trying to do at least one set of panels a day like if i could start the next one that'd be great because then i'd be ahead of track ahead of track is that a saying well i'd be m more than on track okay but usually one standard size panel of six takes me 50 minutes so i should be able to do more than that like it it would it would be better but i do have some things to do so that's why i can't just like go willy-nilly like today i have to do uh some pillow cozies but i'll you know i'll probably end up doing this later on at night plus i started i started a video game called tavern master actually i started a few video games i'm playing three video games at once right now one of my 2023 goals is to play more video games that aren't just fortnite because i love video games and there's so many i want to try so i started tavern master because it was on sale and then i started playing this game called oberdin which my partner really likes so then i started playing it while he was watching and once he fell asleep i started playing dave the diver which was on my list for a while so i connected my steam to my television and i set up my walking pad like my little treadmill my foldable treadmill and i played to that so that's gonna be my new treadmill game like i'll only play it while i'm on the treadmill so that it motivates me to go on it often which i'll probably do 
soon. May ah, maybe I won't do it until after. But yeah, so I just wanted to update you. That was like a random little tangent. It's going pretty good. I think I have to postpone the one with Pink Princess. I I'll, I'll see what she says because I think that we can avoid... Because I was like, it's, it's exactly where I wanted to get my tattoo. But when I was looking at it, it actually like can be avoided. But I don't know if it's still like too close to where the tattoo would be. So I'm going to email her and see what she says about it. It sucks. I've literally, I've not, I haven't gotten eczema in that spot before. Actually, like years ago, years ago. But I usually don't get eczema in that spot. And of course, like now I get it once I'm going to get a tattoo there. So again, we'll see what she says. Anyway, um... Yeah. All right, time to update on everything that I've made so far. I've tried to make one panel a day. So here's one of them. <laughs> here's the smallest one. Here's another one. And then here's another one. So I just have one more panel to make and then I'll probably sew these together, get the sewing out of the way and then get the ribbing out of the way. However, I need a 6.5 millimeter hook and I thought I was gonna get it in time and I don't. So I might have to go down to a six and I really don't want to do that. But yeah, so I'll finish, I'll finish the body today, which is good because tattoo is six days out. So we got time, we got time. Also, I had to email the other tattoo artist about my eczema. So I don't know what's gonna go, what's gonna happen about that. Need it, The last panel. I used the tutorial for hearts from Sarah Maker. I'll link that down below. This is how I make my hearts. There's three different sizes. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? Wait, why is she, why is she there? I messed up somewhere, but I don't know. <laughs> I fixed it. I found out what I did wrong. The North Shore, Matt Lee. Yeah. Thank you. All right, now I'm watching a video called Mean Girls. The musical isn't good, like based on the Broadway show. And I'm gonna watch the Mean Girls movie. I think tomorrow. I'm just gonna say it. I really enjoyed Mean Girls, the musical on Broadway. Anyway, I'm sewing on the heart motifs before I sew everything together because it'll just make everything easier. I'm really bad at sewing things on, by the way. I don't know if you guys know this. I'm really bad at sewing things on. So let's see how it goes. Go grab my other slide whistle. Why, it goes lower? Yeah, that one's better. <laughs> Not bad. Not going from a kazoo to a slide whistle to another slide whistle. Such a musical household. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? You've barely touched your kazoo. All right, so I'm trying to figure out which pieces go together right now. So they're all kind of in front of me. So I'm looking at my di oops, diagram right now. This is, these two are the rightmost. Okay, and then the back panel. So I'm gonna do the back panel first, just so it's a little less confusing. This is why I keep some of the strings really long. So I have something to sew with, although I feel like I messed up somewhere here. Because by doing that, then there's one less end to weave in. Kiwi. Kiwi. Hi. Hi, baby. Did this much. It's the worst part of the pattern, sewing it together. But at least I don't have all the patches to sew together. But you still gotta sew somewhat, so I'll just keep being strong. Um, I just fucked up real bad. So this, I, sh I I've ignored some signs. 
So I did the back panel, like the shortest panel first, so that way I wouldn't get confused about sewing on the wrong side. And this doesn't even look good. These are the same colors or slightly, whatever. I sewed it together. And now I'm sewing the two other front panels together. And I'm realizing that this is one square short. And what I ignored was that I never even fastened off. I never, yeah, I never fastened off. And I did that for a reason. I would have just fastened off if it was done and it wasn't done. So basically I sewed this on one square off and we did all the ends one square off. So I have to take this all off because I have to add one more square to this and then move these down one. And like that really sucks because undoing sewing, especially after you weave in, just really sucks. And I would have noticed if I sewed the panels on, like the, the longest panels together. So I had to make it easy for myself and I made it hard. And I'm really upset, so I have to undo this right now. And that's gonna suck. Undoing sewing sucks so bad. Ugh. Okay, so the problem is that I literally can't find where I've weaved in the end. If I just cut it, then I have to attach new yarn. And then I have to weave in the, the end that I cut. And then weave in the new yarn that I put on. So now I'm creating double the amount of ends to weave in. And of course, like, I have to redo this so it's doubly amount of work. I hate messing up like this. I really hate messing up like this. And it's hard because, like, all these colors look the same to me. This sucks. Just finished. I fixed it. I fixed it. I have found another mistake that I've never done before. So as I'm sewing on literally the last panel, I noticed that, see right here? there's like a distinct line and it's because you do back loop only in between each square so that it looks like a it looks like it's separate squares sewn on together and there's like a distinct line in between I get here and I realize it's on the wrong side and I'm like have I been sewing on the wrong side this whole time and I haven't I made sure but it switches right here and the reason for this is because I did this proper amount of rows right here and then the next one I miscounted, did one row extra, meaning it was odd, so then the back loop only transferred to this side. <sighs> and there's no easy way to fix this because it's the very beginning of the, the row. So it happened at the very, very beginning of like all this. So I would have to undo all the other squares to get to this point and also unsew all of this, and that's not going to happen. So what I'm thinking is, this heart will not be centered, and that's fine. It's okay that it's going to be lower to the bottom half. I think that's kind of cute. I have to somehow, I know there's a way to do it. I've never done it before. Somehow get, like, a lifeline onto right here, and then take apart this row. And I think then sew this square back onto here. I think that's what I have to do, and I hope it looks right, and that's really awful. <laughs> it's really awful, but I'm lit this is the last... The last two squares I have to sew together before the body is done besides the ribbing, so uh, I don't know. Okay, so I think, I don't even think I have to add a lifeline necessarily because it's already closed up on the stitch. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, you're eating my watermelon? You can have that. I think I'm just gonna cut it and then use this to sew it on to, I don't know, I'm just gonna do it. I can't explain it. I can't explain it, but I'm going to do it, and I'm really scared about it. Uh, hey, no, you can have the ones I already ate. I'm going to cut it right in the middle, so that way it doesn't go loose on either end. This is horrible. This is terrible. Ah! Oh my god, this is horrible. I don't think I've cut my crochet stitches in years, and the only other time I did was because I made it too wide and I didn't want to start over and that was actually kind of crazy of me to do. This I feel like I'm, I know what I'm doing in a sense. So right here, so how it's threaded through, I'm going to have to thread uh, this blue yarn through. Okay, nope, I'm gonna have to lifeline it. And like this technique is really only for, I've only seen it for knitting. Okay, yeah, so you see the blue line across that's holding the stitches down. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta learn by trying. Okay, this seems to be working, but I think it's gonna be better if I do it with this yarn color instead of the light gray. Okay, it's actually looking really good. Okay, I think I've discovered a new technique. I'm sure somebody in the world has done this before, but I'm quite proud that I've 
figured this one out on my own because that was really scary for a moment okay it looks great this is really working last one back loop and these last two stitches which the stitch is like kind of looped over like this so I'm gonna have to use this yarn to complete that last stitch that I had to undo okay now that looks like a regular half double crochet stitch I'm gonna tie this to secure it okay wow okay and then I think I could take out this line if it's not stuck wow okay wow crisis averted I'm really proud of myself for that oh thank god that was so scary and look at that technique that I just did I'm really proud of that technique Wow, you guys want a little actual tutorial on that? Oh, wow, okay, now I can sew these two together and be done with sewing the body. Oh, sewing takes so long, sewing takes so long. All right, here we go. This is how it's looking. And I weaved in all the ends. I started to weave in the sides of these and I remembered that I need some of these for after I do the sleeves to sew together right here. But here's the back. Doesn't it look amazing? So I'm gonna start the ribbing and be strong. Do the ribbing. Hey, hey, Kiwi, leave it. I'm gonna be strong and do the ribbing first because I tend to do that um, before I do the sleeves because I like to do the sleeves and the ribbing is like really annoying to me. So I gotta get it out of the way. Check this out. Um, also, half of my ring light isn't working anymore. Uh, is, is that a wiring issue? Like, do I have to fix that myself? I don't want to get a new one. That's such a waste. Ay, 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 ay. So lots of, lots of trouble with sewing today. I've been doing this for around four hours, if not more. Like, on and off. Not, like, straight through, but, like, it takes... I have to stop in between because it's so much for me. Most, most of that time, though. Because it's 8.25 now, and I've been doing this since at least four. Ugh, I hate sewing so much, but it looks amazing, so... That's great. The colors look great on camera too. Been staring at it so close and I'm like, I can't see any of the colors. Looks great. This is gonna be such a cool cardigan. Oh, this is really how long it is, sorry. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool stuff, everybody. Hello, it's the next morning and I am gonna start. It's not morning. <laughs> it's not morning, I say it's morning. This is why I'm saying it's morning. It feels like morning to me. I'm eating my breakfast. Mmm, bagel and coffee. The reason why I say morning is because maybe, just maybe, I stayed awake until... Guess, guess before I say it. I was playing The Sims. Decided to play The Sims after I finished sewing. <laughs> it was just so, so, sewing all those pieces was just so hard on me. I just needed a well-earned break. Okay, now guess what, how long I stayed up until. Did you guess? Okay. Was your answer 8.30 a.m.? And so I got up at like around like 12.30, um, which it's obviously not enough uh, sleep, but it's fine. Um, I will make up for it later tonight. I just, I, I literally wasn't tired. Even when I woke up, I was just like not tired anymore to go back to sleep. So like, what am I supposed to do about that if I'm not tired? I don't, that's not a usual thing. It's not a usual thing. I have not stayed up until past seven since like 2020 when I was also when I also could do that because the world stopped so um anyway I'm gonna start <laughs> I'm gonna start the ribbing right now this is gonna take a really long time I'm starting to get a little bit worried about timing I'm gonna use a seven millimeter hook by the way I usually use a seven millimeter hook for this last time I used a six it was just too small and I do have a 6.5 in case I want it to be smaller but the pattern calls for a 7, so I could use a 7, but if I wanted the ribbing to be more tight, then I would use a 6.5. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting a little worried on timing. I have to edit, 
I'm in the middle of editing one of my own videos right now, but I have to edit one of M's videos. Um, did you know I edit M's videos sometimes? It get made in the moment. But yeah, so I have to edit the, that today. And then it's Thursday right now, and I have the appointment on Sunday. And I don't know about my appointment on Tuesday because of my eczema, although it's getting so much better. I didn't show you it before. So that's what it looks like right now. And it was like way more noticeable before. And over here. The thing is, is, like, I think we can avoid it. What she's worried about is just, like, irritating it more. But usually when I get a tattoo, the eczema goes away, um, wherever it was. But this might be a problem right here. So I don't know. We have to move it to February, which is good for timing on this, but bad because I just want that tattoo now. And I'm going away twice in February, so trying to squeeze it in the middle right there would be bad. I just dropped my hook if you're wondering what I'm doing. I don't know where it went. Time would be hard and also like it would have to heal while I'm away. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I just want it right now. It sucks. Eczema sucks for so many reasons. Anyway, 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 I'm also watching top 10 mystery games because I'm trying to figure out the next, not the next game I'm going to play because I am currently playing multiple games. Last weekend, I played Oberdin, which was so freaking good. So good. It's a detective game in such a cool way. It, it's just look it up. Look it up. I can't talk. I can't I can't tell you about it. You just have to look it up. Um, so now I want to find one that's like kind of similar. I'm playing Firewatch right now, but this video that I'm watching shows both Oberdin and uh, the show the clip from Firewatch. So I'm guessing I'm, like, I'm on the right track right here. And I'm also playing, we just started a Stardew Valley farm, but that's with like three other people. So we all have to be on the same page. Anyway, yeah. So I'm going to work on this today between editing the video and stuff and i won't play video games until i'm done maybe i'll have one break but i'm gonna limit myself i'm gonna put on an hour timer like i used to when i was a kid as per, per the house as per the household rules but to satisfy that need for video games right now i'm gonna watch this video instead skills are actually performed by the player Here's what I mean. When I play Hollow Knight, I'm not actually swinging a tiny nail at insect enemies. And when I play Stardew Valley, I'm not actually harvesting crops. I'm just sat down pressing buttons on a controller. There's a level of abstraction between what's happening on screen and the player experience. But when I play detective games, I really am observing what's on screen. I actually am forming theories and deductions, and I'm actually thinking up creative ways to test my theories. That's cool. Now, Brand. before we begin the actual Brand. talk, Sorry. Sorry. Brand. one of the curious... Okay, I know. <laughs> I'm... There's something wrong with my brain. Like, yeah, no, I we we have established that I did sleep at 8 a.m. and then get up at 12, so obviously I'm running on not a lot of sleep. But, like, this isn't the first time I messed up. And it's not the first time I messed up doing something that I've never done before. This is the third thing that I've messed up that I've never done before in such a crazy way. And this one's the worst offender. Because I don't like doing ribbing either. I think it's also because I'm just trying to... It's all... No, not all of it. Some of it was like part of the crocheting process. But like, it's happening because I'm trying to just... I'm just trying to get through it. I'm just trying to get through the ribbing just so I can get to the... <sighs> my god just so i can get to the sleeves i was like really just trying to like finish the ribbing i have other things to do and it's late i can't believe i did this so i started going up on the cardigan and i got to a part where i was like i usually decrease around here like where's where's the corner where all the pieces meet okay so let me let me show you something and like, i don't want you to think that like when you're watching, she's like, oh, this bitch messes up all the fucking time. I, I usually, like I said, never done any of these things before. So I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this, okay? Set it off. You can see the ribbing. It's so dark. I'm sorry. So I go all around the front side, bottom, and then I get to the back. And that was like, I probably finished that. Oh my God. What a waste of my fucking time. I'm actually like I'm really upset, but this is the worst. This is the worst offense so far. I at a time where I really can't be messing all of this up because I have other things to do and this has to be done by Sunday. It's been probably three hours since I started. What I had to do was connect the front two panels together like this, the front two panels, and then continue to go around the front right here and continue the ribbing right here and then go up the center. Want to see what I did instead? I added ribbing to the side 
of the cardigan all the way up and buttonholes and everything. I ribbon all the way up the side, meaning up this side where the front and the back connect. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, all the way up here. Okay, that's cool. That's really nice. You like have no clue. You have no clue how upset I am. What the fuck was I thinking? I mean, I watched the movie and everything. And like, my wrists are starting to hurt. So like, I need to take a break too. And I will take a break. I don't want any lectures in the comments below. I don't want any lectures. Sometimes you just gotta do things when you're on a timeline. I am stretching in between. I am using my massager. I can't find my ice packs though, which is a problem. I have special wrist ice packs. But I've been using just like regular ice, which is really inconvenient. So I don't want to hear it, okay? That is so horrible, okay. I'm just gonna finish going around the bottom and then I'm calling it for today because I have to edit a video, it's 11.13 so it's late. I'm literally gonna stop to do it right now and then I just look down and I... <sighs> it's also like, because it's such a big project, this is another problem, okay? Because it's such a big project and you're just kind of like turning it and manipulating it, like, it's really weird to look at. Plus, it's really dark. And I, like, I just turned up the light a little bit. But, like, there's only so much daylight in winter, you know? What am I supposed to do about that? Nothing. I can't find my neck light either, okay? This is, this is just really embarrassing, because, like, this whole video, I'm just making these mistakes. And, like, I've made this Luna cardigan. I made this Luna cardigan so many times. And I'm, I don't know how, how much I have to emphasize this. I've never made these mistakes. I have made at least, let me see, the purple one, purple one, Christmas one, Venus one, neutral, uh, an Easter one, not an Easter one, a spring themed one, another Christmas one, a Pokemon one, I don't know, put the number on the screen. That's how many I've made. All that worked, frogged in a second. At least it looks good so far. I should have known, I did, never did the front part of it, I just, I just am sleepy and just want to play games. Wow. Hey guys, this sucks. This is ass. Hey chat, this is ass. <laughs> Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm taking a break from the ribbing to do a sleeve because I'm like, I have to stand up for a little bit, but I have to watch this video and edit it a little bit, so I don't want to hold up my whole ribbing thing. It's easier to do a sleeve than the whole then to carry this right uh but i wanted to show you this new uh sweater that i have you've seen it in my videos already my aunt got it for me for christmas it's really intended to hold a cat in here now i've tried it they do not like it so instead it is this is like my big blanket i usually wear a blanket at my uh at my desk anyway and this is just so much more convenient and now it has a pocket for my yarn which i usually have on my lap anyway but then like it always falls, it gets tangled underneath my wheels and stuff. Now I could always have it in my pocket. Especially great for like things like this. When I'm playing games and I'm like in the lobby waiting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I also did finish that little bit of ribbing last night and I gotta do the inside. So who knows? Maybe I could get both the sleeves done today. Ugh. So it's the next day, and I have finished this much of both of the sleeves. Last night while editing the video, I literally worked for so long yesterday, so I really didn't do much. I just did this while I was, this one while I was deleting a bunch of things that we didn't need in the video. I was doing a watch through, and then this one when I was doing the final watch through. So I'm gonna do this right now. I'm upstairs, and I've never really been up here before. Like just to chill. It's actually pretty nice. Move the t the old TV up here. So I'm gonna crochet. I'm gonna finish this up. Um, the day of the tattoo 
I have a couple of hours. I just have to finish the sleeve and then attach them both and then do the buttons and hopefully I have buttons upstairs. But everything else I finished last night. Oh, I finished all yesterday. It was like a grueling process for me for some reason. Like finishing the ribbing just took all day because I just don't like to do ribbing. But, okay. I'm just gonna do it real fast so I'm not gonna show anything. Me? <laughs> Yeah. What show is he from? I watched it. Is it too hot to handle? It was something like that. Did they... so, oh, what man. do you do for work? What do you do? <laughs> he doesn't know you, bro. Ryan is like, what's work? What would you say you do at work? Uh, I took off the mic, so uh, the audio is different. But I finished it. I finished it, and I really gotta go. But look how cute it is. I have to sew the buttons on while I'm there, which I did for my last little cardigan, which is... Uh, kind of bad, but I mean it only will take me a few more minutes, but I really gotta go. But how cute is it? It came out amazing. It's really really cute. God, let me just Yeah, there we go. Gotta just do a little stretch real quick. Okay, now it's probably awesome. So good on you. <laughs> love it. Yeah, it looks so perfect. I love the little like heart in the back, the little things. It's gorgeous on you. Like perfect neutral. Yeah. Palette. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so good. Oh my God. Thank you. Wow, look what I did once again. I recorded in slow-mo. I sped it up, you know, just so you don't have to watch it in slow-mo to 200. Uh, but that being said, there is no audio on here. Uh, this is the only time I do it in the video. Sorry I did it again, like two videos in a row. No, no, there's a video in between where I don't do that. But anyway, I'm just saying that this is like a quite a while between the tattoo and here. I think this has to be like a week or two before my Florida trip, so a week or two before February. And I did end up having to cancel my other tattoo, not cancel, postpone it because of my eczema, which left enough time for me to do this cardigan. And you know, I obviously didn't have time considering I finished the last cardigan at the appointment. I was not gonna make another cardigan in two days. But basically what I'm telling you over here is that I finished the panels already. I didn't record the whole process, but I'm pretty much done with them. And I'm making this a square longer in the front and back. So it's gonna be five squares down in the front and back instead of the typical three, but for Emma's I did four. However, it is like technically the same size as the four squares down in that in the one size I usually do, or like maybe a tiny bit longer, but I actually size down to compensate for it. So I'm doing it in what my pattern reads as a medium, which like fits like, I think like an XL truly, but it's actually going a lot faster or it feels like it's going faster 
one, I think I'm in a better better mental state. And two, because the squares are less stitches wide, it just like, I don't know, it just feels like it's going a lot faster, even though it's probably technically the same length as the one I did for Emma. Look, I could read my lips. It's going really well, like faster than the last one. I don't know if that's just because of, yeah, you get it though, but I, yeah, I can read my own lips. But also I'm talking about how I also messed up a lot in the last one. So that's also why it obviously took a really long time. Plus it was darker colors, all that. And yeah, I'm really hopeful about finishing this before I go on my flight, but uh, no spoilers. And here I am showing off my new tattoo by Emma. And yeah, uh, also just talking about my experience with her. It was just really lovely. I took about like, I wanna say maybe like four-ish hours. I don't know, it was a long tattoo. And the experience was just very lovely. I really like getting tattooed by Emma. We just like talked the whole time. Also, their apprentice was there kind of shadowing, which was cool because then I got to learn a lot about the process as well. I just love learning about other artists' processes and everything, especially tattoos. I feel like it's so intriguing to me. And I think likewise can be said with tattoo artists with me because we end up having like a very mutual conversation about how we got our skills and how we got to where we are and all that stuff. Yeah, really lovely t uh, trading with Emma. Like I said before, they really love doing tattoo trades. It was really casual really cool. I don't know what else I said. I tried to like read my lips, but I think that I'm just really talking about the experience with Emma, but please go follow her. She's amazing. And I'm going to go back to her to revamp that Lily of the Valley tattoo I showed you earlier and like kind of make it like a garden around my ankle. And that's going to be sick. just sewed everything together. Most of the ends are weaved in except for some of the sides because I never know which ones to leave out so I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna use these to sew. All right, looking good. Um, I know logically I should sew the motifs on first but I don't feel like making them right now so whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna start on the ribbing in a moment. I might just sew like these together, the bottom three together on both sides at some point. Um, but I think I need to take a little walk because I've been stiff for the last few days. So I think I'm going to take a little walk my walking pad while starting the sleeves. That seems like a good idea. And the sleeves are going to have to be longer than they usually are anyway, so I better get a start on them since the body's not as big. So there's no, I have to make the sleeve go all the way out basically. Cool. It's looking great. Looks really good. It's really fun. I like these colors a lot. Let's get loud. Let's, Let's get, get loud. loud. The cotton is so soft. I thought it was wool until I saw. Dude, yeah, this is sexy. Yeah, the collar. Doesn't the collar feel amazing? It does feel really good. You double side and it double. Yeah. Double. This looks amazing. Wait. The back. Crochet or not. <laughs> I'm really good. <laughs> Oh 
wait, there's no hole in this. She's screaming. <laughs> She's screaming. Don't look at her. Wow. I'm gonna finish this sleeve today. Hello, today we're at Universal and my camera will be dying because I'm a horrible content creator. What do you need from me? Nothing. Just keep doing a beautiful job. Yeah. Hey, I'm in Florida. <laughs> I have not obviously been recording as much as I did with the first Luna Cardigan, but I've just kind of been going and doing it because I just wanted to get it done. And also like the week before I always go somewhere, I get really stressed out. So I just, I just couldn't possibly film. But here's the thing, I did not finish before I left, which, you know, okay. But there's a lot of, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much done. So this looks horrible, but all the ends are weaved in. For the most part and here's the front so I just have to finish like this much ribbing down the side which obviously I'm gonna do today and then I have to still do the motifs I'm about to go get some coffee and sit outside and then I'll finish these two sleeves which I've just been saving for last because I would rather finish the ribbing first because I don't like the ribbing and I'd like to do the sleeves but here's this so this just, I just need 12 more rows on this one. And this is gonna have the same blue spot and then another 12 rows. So it on, done, done. Um, yeah, but we have all day today and it's gonna be chill. So I'm just gonna sit down and do that all. Yesterday, we were at Universal all day and then the day before I flew in. What do we do? But yeah, but tomorrow we're gonna leave in the morning. We're gonna leave early in the morning to go. So. Yeah. Wait, another thing, another thing. This is what I worked on yesterday. This is unrelated, but I want to show you what I worked on as my to-go project. Ooh, got so much done in my <laughs> in my 12-hour day at Universal. This pattern is by Friday Knits. It's called The Lost Tank. But look how pretty it is. Well, maybe it looks like shit on camera. I don't know if it looks like shit in real life. I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so once I'm done with this thing, then I could work on that fully because I need a break from crocheting after these two cardigans. I just want to knit. I need a break. I did also bring this pro I my travel project from that I started last September, the last time I was in Florida. <laughs> but I bought that just in case. But I want to do my tank top. All right, that's all for real. I trust you, Mom. Two claws here, and like yeah. kind of like rips, and I like hold her like this, and then as soon as I like open the carrier, I don't even have to like hold her. Like I can put her down, and she'll walk straight into it at the airport. Okay. I finished both of these earlier today. For the most part, I just did the top, like last three rows of this one because I ran out of yarn in the car ride and we like did a lot of things today but like mostly we just drove because everywhere around here is so fucking far from one another anyway here's this done with these now just to finish the ribbing when i say it it sounds like a lot but i have to finish the ribbing make the motifs sew them on and then sew the sleeves on and the buttons which isn't really a lot. This looks crazy in here. These are all we did. I just haven't cut them yet. Oh, I should have cut them when Aiden was here because I would have given her my worms. I gave her like all my worms, like most of my worms in little baggies because she likes to collect little yarn worms. You know, that green sweater that I, I have a green yarn worm sweater from her from a bunch of scraps. So she does really cool things with her scraps. But I didn't do that for these. So sorry, Aiden. You don't get these worms and then I did leave some on the sides so for sewing so I do have some to weave in can I just say that I don't want to do this anymore but I have to but like I want to sleep and I don't want to do this anymore but guess what the tattoos tomorrow and I've done this for the last two tattoos and I will probably do this for the next one I don't want to but like has it stopped me yet no this is how my brain works I wish that it would stop me I wish that I would learn but guess what this one was also particularly stressful too because like I had like I was doing really well but then like last week it's like I always forget how stressed I get before I leave to go somewhere and like I had to travel for this one. 
and I should have brought it with me in the car, but like I didn't realize how much driving it was gonna be because I'm just simply not used to the distances around here. I forget. But it's fine. That's my own fault. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to do it anymore. <sighs> Alright, let me get to doing this ribbing. I am whispering because it's sleepy time. I had to take a very long break on my phone. And that's why when I first started, my phone was put away. So I wouldn't be on it. But I'm tired. But now I have a second wind because I took a break on my phone, I think. I don't know. So right now I'm going to cut off all the ends that are already weaved in and start sewing on the sleeves. And then weaving in all the other ends, sewing everything together. And then I think I might call it for the night. Steam it tomorrow. Put on the motifs, put on the buttons on the way there. It's about a two hour drive, so, you know. <laughs> show you what it looks like not blocked because tomorrow morning I'm gonna block it and then obviously do the motifs after hopefully once I block it it'll be like a little longer yeah I'm gonna block it nice and long and she said she's a little taller so she wants it to be nice and long but um, you know Without a block, it's not going to stay. So I'm going to block it nice and long down. But the way it's stretching right now, I can feel it being nice and long. Alright, I'm going to sleep. We're about to leave. Just got to steam this. Also, I realized yesterday, this is going to be like one of my first tattoos in a while that I have both my hands free. I'm so excited. All the possibilities. Since you're ready, would you mind and would yes. you be able to get the coffee? Yeah, I was gonna offer. Oh my god, Slay Queen. Yeah. Alright, here it is after I've blocked it now. You could see the difference in the length and like it just falls way flat. I'm glad I took the time to steam block it because I didn't have time to block the other ones. With the Luna Cardigan, you really don't have to steam block it for the most part because when it dries, it's just so heavy that like the stitches stretch out. But for this one, I did want to like manipulate it a little bit that's the thing it's like for acrylic you don't really have to you have to manipulate it with steam otherwise it's not going to block but usually loon cardigan so heavy and big that you don't need that this one i did want to make a little bit longer perfect it looks so good oh yeah so i got the buttons and the motif so i'm going to pack that up now but yeah way longer than it was yesterday and i think it'll get even longer if I'm not mistaken, after a wash? I don't know. We'll see. Well, no, we won't see, but... <laughs> yeah, fun. Really fun. Although, I was an idiot, and I didn't even think about the steam affecting my hair, so now it's like this. But I'm gonna clip it up anyway, whatever. Alright, we are on the way to St. Augustine. And I'm going to start my stars. I have stars. I have, like... <laughs> maybe five stars to make and then like a moon and um some clouds and then i almost i literally almost forgot the buttons so that would have been real bad but let me show you the buttons because they're really really cute i got them from cleo's i had to do a whole trek to get them because my car needs fixing didn't have time to get it fixed before i went and so i had my friend go and then bring them to me so i went through a lot to get these but they're really cute little buttons I got these guys. I'm gonna go X Games mode now. One star. I followed a tutorial by Diving Ducks Crochet and it was very easy. So I'll do a couple more. I 
I found another tutorial by Hooked by Robin for these smaller stars because the squares for each one aren't that big. So like these will take up like the entire square. So I wanted some smaller ones. So I made these little cute ones. And this one's also a really easy one to make. All right, we've arrived and I did not finish, but it's fine. I have all my little appliques. And like I said, I'll have all of, I have all of my hands free while doing the tattoo because on my leg. We're gonna take, we're gonna go in, but I wanna take a couple of pictures of it on me, even though I don't have the buttons and the appliques on. It's fine. Just so I have like some pictures of it. But you know, this is what happens when you wait last minute. This is what I've done with every single one of mine, where I'm like, I wanna finish it before so I can get a fucking photo of it. And then I don't, and then I have to like take like not finished photos when it's not blocked or like whatever. But whatever. <sighs> okay. not tattooed <laughs> so you know what it looks like before I change forever yeah. oh, wow. she's trying <laughs> she she's is. attempting Doing this for years, it looks really I'm good. I'm just like another talented. <laughs> so talented. Yeah, so talented. <laughs> Buttons done, but I think that's all I could do while I'm actually being tattooed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. But we got the ends weaved in. I have to do all the all the goodies. And here's here's this right here. We're get we're getting we're getting there. <laughs> The numbing cream is on! <laughs> Alright, the moon is on. I'm gonna put... I'm so confused. Cloud. That's a gorgeous moon. Like, that's so cool. is done and Kate ran out to this to get something from the store while I'm finishing up the touches on this cardigan I'm putting this here but this one I got I got on and that looks gorgeous and look at Avalon go <laughs> for my first crochet project no it's gorgeous wow wait just wait she'll, she'll just the top and no one will even know about oh, the bottom oh yeah oh so perfect like so really good. talented. Really talented. You're such a good designer. Look at how much yarn I yeah. use though. Like genuinely, yeah, no, this used actually, to be a full skein of yarn. Yeah. No, you're doing act, no, amazing. Like all jokes aside, like you, everybody has to go through that. Like that's like everybody has to go through that. Yes. But the top is looking really good. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. And can you do a little turn once again? And can I also see your shirt? I need to put that on because that's so funny. <laughs> and pop ball. Four to six weeks later. Okay, so I'm starting the last 
Luna cardigan because I kind of have to I have no I have not a lot of time I have a week to do this which is funny being that I was like well I have so much time for this one now Kiwi careful please <gasps> well I wanted to start it a few days ago because I was like yeah I might as well but I've been sick so I'm I'm getting better now I'm still a little sick I have to catch up on other projects from when I was when I was sick which is not that big of a deal but like I have to do this now because I don't I haven't finished one of these Luna cardigans, not last minute, so I want to finish one and steam block it and not do it while, not finish it while I'm getting the tattoo. I'm actually not that worried about this one because this is actually the least involved cardigan out of all of them. It's just basic size, Luna cardigan, basic length, no extras of anything no motifs no checkers it's is there checkers no it's just solids so i'm not that worried about it so that's all good i don't think i've checked in since my last since my last tattoo it's been so busy since then so i really don't think i did i was only home for a week and a half and then i went to new orleans then i came back had to relax some more and then my partner got sick and then I got sick so and then here we are so I haven't I don't think I talked about it experience was fabulous amazing it's my biggest tattoo I love the tattoo so much I really feel like it completes this side of me also I got really good reception on it when I posted it on TikTok and reels everybody loves the idea of a tattoo trade so I'm glad that I'm glad that everybody enjoys the idea of an art trade as much as I do, and people should, obviously. I hope that more people start doing it, because it's really awesome. And, yeah, something really cool that's happened since is I reached out to one of the tattoo artists that I already worked with back in November, Tattooist Yoni, the one who did this one. And I was just, like, interested in another tattoo, so I was just, like, asking her, like, nothing really solid in mind, just kind of, like, wanted an idea about something whenever I was going to plan on getting it, like, very loose idea, and she was like, okay, do you want to do another art trade, or do you just want to do a regular tattoo, and I was like, wow, now this is gorgeous, now this is what dreams are made of, this is exactly, this is exactly what I have dreamed for, I'm not gonna add this to the same video this video is already probably so long as it is but i thought just thought that was a nice thing anyway i'm gonna get to making this i don't know how much footage i'm gonna get of me making this i don't know how how you know what's what's gonna be different about what what can what more can i give you what more can i give you I, you've seen so many process videos of this one and this one's the most the least involved out of all of them so nothing crazy but i did want to update you and i am doing this one let's see how quickly I can get this one done. It is March 13th, so like I said, I have seven days to do this, so let's see how, how quickly I get this done. I'll try to be as fast as possible, though. This one's gonna be fun. I'm so sniffly. Um, but yeah. That's me holding up the first panel, like men hold up fish for photos. I hope that you got that without me explaining it. Did it look like that? I don't know what order these go in. We're gonna go like this. All right. Okay, it's like 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Tattoo appointment is tomorrow. <laughs> to get to sewing. New Stardew Valley update is today, and so I gotta finish this now so I can play. All sewed. Two hours later. Two hours later, this sewing takes fucking forever. <sighs> okay. Yeah, just the ribbing now! <sighs> All the ends weaved in. Weaved. Just a little. Just gotta put the buttons on. It's so awesome. Two days later. Okay, so hey, it's a few, it's a couple days later. As you can see, it looks really cool, right? Where's the raspberries? Um, I had to stop because it hurt so bad. I couldn't do it. Like, I did not expect this spot to hurt really bad. You know, I have one right here. Top of fear, for me at least, 
horrible, horrible. It's supposed to go down even further, but we stopped off after the back because this was gonna hurt more. It was just like sending like the nerve endings there. My, I, I couldn't stop moving my legs. Like we had to stop. So I'm going back tomorrow to finish it off. But I'm going into the city today because I have an eyelash appointment, have a conspiracy theory night with my friends, which I also have to finish. I'm running l late for any, everything, last minute everything. But it ended up working out anyway for both of us for many reasons. But one of the reasons is I got to take this back home and wash it. So I washed it and now it lies great. And now I could also put on the buttons which I'm going to do later at my friend's house, but here's what it looks like. Really cute, right? So I just have to put on the buttons. I don't know if you can see the mask back here. If you can, pretend you can't, okay? It's been crazy. But yeah, so looks a lot better now that it's washed. So I'm in a rush right now to go do everything I need to do today, but I did want to update you on everything. Okay. Oh, oh wait. Elephant in the room, purple elephant in the room. I'm purple. <laughs> Jump scare, I guess. And I'm just here pretending like nothing happened. It looks more blue right now. But I think it's just... I mean, I probably color grade this correctly because it's a little cool right now. But it's a little blue. It is warmer looking than this. Unless I fix it. In that case, it's just what it looks like. But you'll see more of it. Um, I'm running out of space on my memory card, so I gotta stop. Plus, I, I'm, I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. Also, something that didn't help. Finishing this so last minute that, like... I think I used all my adrenaline before the tattoo even started, which probably doesn't help the pain. Um, I finished this literally the subway, not even the Long Island Railroad, because I have to take Long Island Railroad, then the subway. The subway arrived at the stop, and I weaved in the last end, so I got it. I gotta stop doing that. Oh my god. Yeah. No, you look amazing. Oh my god, it looks so like cute. It looks really good on you. Okay, hi. It is now Monday. So, started the tattoo last Wednesday. Finished it on Saturday, and now it is Monday. So, I also did forget my camera on the way to the tattoo place, the tattoo studio, which is that, if anybody cares, it's called Vacation Forever Tattoo. Look them up, they're very cool. They just opened up a new place over there. You know what? It was a horrible day for being outside. It was like raining and raining sideways and it was windy. So I was a little all over the place. So I forgot my camera, but I did obviously take some clips that you saw. But not too, too many. But I wanted to present to you the final tattoo. Now, isn't this just gorgeous and completely matches the vibe of the Luna Cardigan? Looks really good right now. And like, look how it's all coming together on my arm. So every tattoo, except for this one, as you know from the other tattoo trade, every single one of these tattoos is by Marissa, AKA Pink Princess. So it's just really cool. It's just looking real cool and there's gonna be more, so. Turns out too, me saying that this hurt real bad and I had to stop, I think it was just the day. And this, w w literally what I said about the adrenaline being used up before the tattoo. Also, like, I don't know, the energy was off that day. I think it's just interesting thinking about how weird and specific our bodies can be reacting to certain things. Because I was like, this is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And then we went over the same spots and I added here, which was supposed to be, like, probably the most painful, if not, like, equally as painful to other, other spots. And I, we started with that first and I was like, oh, I said out loud. I was like, oh, I guess it was that day because this is... Not bad. And the energy was a lot higher from the both of us that day too. So just interesting things. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I don't, what else What else can I say? This was such a lovely, Kiwi. Kiwi's moving my tripod. So if it's wobbling, it's her underneath. Such, please go away. <sighs> Anybody care about this? Such a lovely experience doing all of these tattoo trades. I don't have any more planned out, which is like good because like I can like relax on the cardigans, I guess. But like now I'm like, I would like another one planned out. <laughs> what is my takeaway from everything? Art trades are gorgeous. Bartering your skills and goods is gorgeous. A lot of feedback from the Instagram reel and TikTok that I posted about the cat tattoo I got from Kate was like, oh my God, bring back bartering. And people in there being like, it never went away. Like you just have to kind of find out how to be able to be included in that bartering. And a lot of people were asking like, how do you go about it? And here are my tips for that. One, it helps if you already know the person, like 
with Marissa, it was a lot easier because I went in with a cardigan and we both kind of had like the same idea where we were like, do you want to do this? So it works if you already have a tattoo artist. But also, I never met Kate before, ever. I did know Emma because she did my tattoo like years ago. So that was like kind of right in the middle and I never met Kate before. It kind of just like depends, but it does help if you know them. And just like reach out to them. It helps if you have your, your work on your page so they can see and everything. So they could see if, you know, if they like it and everything. And I kind of just reached out saying, Hey, you know, I introduced myself. I'm a crochet artist. Like, I, this is how I found your work. I love it. If you're ever interested in doing an art trade, like, this is what I do. Don't feel pressure to say yes or anything like that. Like, just thought it'd be an idea. Like, either way, I would love a tattoo from you, but, you know, here's, here's an idea. Because tattoo artists are artists, a lot of them are already familiar with art trading and things. And another tip I have is being okay with rejection. You know, not everybody's going to say yes. And it's just kind of a bonus if someone does say yes. Because remember that, like, this is, like, their time, too. Like, they might not be interested in the same art that you have to offer and that's fine and obviously it helps if you are going to get a tattoo from them regardless and it's not just like hey let me just get a tattoo for you for free because I can kind of thing but like you were genuinely interested in their work and you would pay for it with money or a good what else can I say about it mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, those are the main two things. If you have any more questions about it and I can help or give you advice leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best and yeah, I mean if anybody's open to art trading doesn't even have to be tattoos you know what i've been into recently that i've been like kind of toying with the idea of reaching out and being like you want to do an art trade stained glass stained glass design especially because the price point is very similar to crochet work because it's like an expensive craft it, i don't know how long it takes but i'm sure it takes a lot of time to do it oh my god seeing like decorations of like stained glass butterflies and moths hanging around. I recently got M, I'm gonna put up a picture here and who was by it. I recently got M for their birthday. I split it with one of their good friends, a stained glass pigeon holding a donut, which was so cool and perfect. Smaller tattoos, like maybe I, I, I don't always have to do like a big lunar cardigan for a big tattoo. I, th I feel like I've done, well I have done three big tattoos and one very detailed tattoo. So like, you know, an Adina cardigan is in the $200 price point, you know, if anybody, if any if anybody wants to trade anything, let me know. Let me know. I can't promise that I'll say yes to all of them as, you know, referring back to the be okay with the rejection of not always saying, you know, yes and stuff. But, you know, if you're interested in a crochet piece, you know what else is cool? Trading crochet pieces for other crochet pieces or knit pieces, that's cool too. Or like, you know, if anybody wanted to trade or like be open to ideas in the comments, trading with other people in the comments, you could leave those, what you would be willing to trade, what you're looking for, and maybe y'all can find people to trade with down below, like that would be really cool. I was talking to a lash technician who I think that I'm also gonna start trading with, which is really cool. Like there's so many goods and services and art you could trade for. You can, you can get so much without spending like money by like trading your skills. Like that's so cool, that's so cool. And we were like, what if there was like an app where like you can like kind of post what you wanted to trade or what you're like willing to what you're willing to trade and what you like want to trade for and like what if it was like kind of like dating apps how you can like swipe so that way you don't have to just be like yes or no but you can be interested in that idea and then you could like match up with other artists and stuff I don't know that's a cool idea but you know for the time being you could just talk amongst yourselves in the comments or like ask me if you want to trade anything with me you know if you're a tattoo artist with a, with a style that you think would look good with what's existing on me then, you know, hit me up. Maybe we could do something. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's the conclusion for this. Art trading is beautiful. Art is beautiful. Being an artist is beautiful. Having skills is beautiful. Uh, bartering is gorgeous. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely a lot longer than I intended it to be. But, like, you know, three big cardigans and tattoos and events. How could it not be? And if you wanted to see the first art trade that I did, pop on over to my Patreon. There's a bonus video on there. If you wanted to support in any way, just check out the Patreon, you know. But if you can't, if you can't afford that or don't want to pay for that monthly, that's cool too. Just consider liking this video, leave a comment about literally any of the things I said or whatever below. Uh, subscribe, subscribe if you care. And yeah, I don't know, follow me on socials. Let me know which one of these tattoos was your favorite or which one of these car uh, cardigans was your favorite. Or, you know, if you just love them all. Okay. Bye. Oh, also let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me on this channel, you know. It's kind of just like whatever I feel like, but you know, if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. Okay. Goodbye.